Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So Taurus, this is a general reading for you. This doesn't have to apply for you, so don't make it fit if it's not your story. Uh, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. All right. Uh, also second house stellium, so second house placements. If you have a lot of those placements, then you can watch this video. Um, this is also a reading for preparing for love okay so if you are in the phase of preparing for new love how can you prepare for that new love this is a spread for that all right so if you are in this phase then please check out this reading and I'm sure you will get your answers all right my love so let's dive in let's see what is coming up for Taurus in love Taurus in love tarot spread let's see what's coming up for Taurus let's see your energy Taurus in love Okay, we will see what's your energy. What's Taurus, Taurus's energy in love? Please tell me. Spirits, guardian, angels, angels, shamans, dragons. Please tell me. What is Taurus's energy towards love? Ooh, so we have chased. The next card we got is gratitude. What a contrast. Okay. So Taurus, I'm getting that you're done being the chaser or being the one who's chased or you love being chased or something like that. Like it's it's just it's just so fun when you get chased by a person. I'm getting like you love that. You enjoy that. You indulge in that. Okay. Um, there's something that you feel very grateful about when it comes to love. Like you're so glad that there, there's this concept of love on planet earth and thank god we have love so we can love each other care for each other i'm getting taurus you also care for nature a lot okay you guys care for nature mother nature mama nature you're very very um concerned about the planet you're very very um grateful for what you have in life okay and with this energy, with the chased energy, it says, what are you running away from? Okay, I'm getting that in the past, Taurus, you have run away from a lot of relationships or because whenever things got too intense, it's like running away was the only option for you because you didn't know how to stay in one position and, you know, integrate that love that you had. This could also be a runner chaser dynamic where, um, you know, when you ran, the other person chased you and... Um, you know, you got some kick out of it, then you chased and the other person ran, right? I'm getting lone wolf energy as well. So yeah, like you love, you, you are like a lone wolf, okay? But you enjoy a company of a partner. You want good sex, good food, good company, like I always say for Taurians, right? So um, what is making you feel overwhelmed, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm getting that the past connections for you, Taurus, have been very overwhelming, okay? Like they have been very like burdening or you know the person kind of trying to make you chase them in some way or trying to give you excuses as to why this can't go long term or why things can't be secure within the relationship and things like that okay what are you afraid of or are unwilling to face is also what i'm seeing here so in the past there was some feelings of uh, you know feeling scared of love or feeling afraid of really experiencing love because of the past hurt and pain that you've been through and so you it it kind of made you unwilling to face true love or real love in the past okay your past is very dark is what I'm picking up okay very very dark past and you became a lone wolf through these energies because you know that you know uh, the people that came into your life were very karmic okay with the seven plus one is eight maybe you were 17 years old when this major relationship happened that made you aware like a I don't know why I wanted to say werewolf. Interesting. So you love werewolf movies or stories, okay? Your opposite sign is Scorpio, so that is very understood, okay? You guys, we are always two signs. So if you're a sun sign uh, Taurus, then you are a Scorpio as well. That's how I see it, okay? That's how I'm being trained to see it by Fernando Sir, right? And Uncle Fernando, you guys know him as that. So yes, um, what are you afraid of and unwilling to face okay so that is your energy in the past in love but i'm seeing now you being grateful for whatever there is in your world in your life okay this gratitude and grateful energy belongs to you taurus you guys are so so much in the present okay you are 
on planet earth and you ground your energies into planet earth and you know whenever people are around you you teach them to be grateful about themselves i'm getting that um if you have dealt with people who had have had a dark past and who also made you face certain things i'm getting that you never lashed out at them you never uh, raised your voice on them you silently just took it and you were grateful for the lessons that you received it's just so beautiful taurus like oh god i i wish i could hug you literally okay it says focus on the things you do have rather than the things you don't or can't have so i'm getting that you trained your mind to be grateful in the present moment rather than thinking about the past pondering in about the past and about the past hurts and how you were hurt and how you were chased and how you know you had to chase at times you for, you completely forgave the person for what they did to you because you understand that they have been through something very dark in their past and you forgive them you know and that is so beautiful okay so there's a lot of grateful energy that you embody in love okay and anyone who has you as a partner is grateful Taurus I hope you know that that everybody remembers you they you leave an after taste in or you leave a, a, a taste in like the, I don't know how to explain it I know you you know exactly what I'm trying to say here like you leave an after taste in their mouth after you um leave the relationship okay um because you're so sensual and you give yourself to the person it's like you surrender yourself to the person okay So yeah gratitude is another form of prayer practice daily so you practice these things daily i'm getting you appreciate everything and everyone in your life okay and this is such a like such a brave quality to have in such a world where everybody is like complaining suffering in something or the other it's like you have you know always you have positive things to say about your past people or your past people always have positive things to say about you because you've done nothing to harm them to elicit any harm even though they've hurt you you've been grateful for the hurt for the harm that they've tried to do to you you know you you see them as you know growing up and maturing so you're like this mama bear papa bear like you know just consoling them in a way and that's so beautiful Yeah, but apart from that, um, I'm getting that you are learning to live more in the present moment in terms of love. You're learning to appreciate your partner for who they are, for where they come from. You know, all of those things mostly don't matter to you. What matters to you is that this person takes care of you. You take care of them, and that this person is gr- grateful for you as much as you are grateful for them. So mm-hmm. you do acts of service in order for them to be grateful to you. Okay, that's how that is your love language, Taurus. And through gratefulness, I'm getting you give gifts to your partner, or you love um, spoiling your people. Okay, you love spoiling with mm-hmm. uh, flowers, gifts, and romantic dinners and things like that. Okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> I'm also getting though that uh, sometimes it could be that you know um, you feel good when a person is chasing you, like. Um, you feel grateful when a person is chasing you but when a person doesn't chase you and doesn't give you that attention it's like then the energy could go elsewhere right um so you always make sure that the person is chasing you because you give them such abundant experiences so that could be one toxic trait that i'm getting let's see your person tell me about taurus's person there you go that was the card what uh, okay so this could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio okay taurus um this could also be a gemini is what i'm picking up the new person that's coming into your life um but in the past like your past person okay the energy that i'm getting is chased again and then we have water and look at the dark like the the again the dark and the dark here right so this is like the lower chakras of unhealed trauma is what i'm picking up from your person but it says uh, what is overwhelming you in your waking life right how are you traveling emotionally in life are you struggling to reach your goals okay so the partners that you have attracted taurus or in the past are people who have been extremely overwhelmed um you know in their life um it's like they have they they have they have not known how to travel emotionally okay they have not known how to heal their emotional body so they struggle when it comes to you because you are so filled with gratitude that it's hard for them to look at you um you know the past people i'm getting because it's so beautiful the energy that you bring is so loving that it it just scares them in a way that you know they could never be that good and at times because of your goodness and gratitude it's like they moved away from you because that was too much to take Taurus okay so much positivity is just too much for your person or something okay 
so yeah um are you struggling to reach your goals it says so yeah the, the people you attracted didn't know where their life was heading they didn't know their life purpose what they are meant to do um you know so they wanted to like keep you chasing them or something like that and they felt some kind of a high with it is what i'm picking up in the past but now the kind of person you are attracting is going to be very deeply emotional towards you okay so water sign cancer pisces scorpio you could be attracting attract attracting one of those energies in your life okay but let me keep this in the middle because i'm getting the energy that you both are going to cultivate a lot of gratitude between you and this person okay um and then we have the goddess okay venusian energy this is you taurus okay this is taurus and virgo and a libra energy i i get from this card so embrace the feminine create and be gentle nurturing yet strong do not listen to those who want to keep you small believe that you are as important as the stars in the heavens right so there's a protective bubble around you taurus and um until you find that uh frequency vibration of a person being grateful for you for loving you the way you want to be loved you want to be respected by your person until then you're not going to allow anybody to come in your sacred space if someone doesn't bring the genuine emotions the genuine love the genuine care and gratitude and support towards you you're not going to bring them in okay because you're a lone wolf so you don't need uh another person to fulfill you in any way okay right because you are the goddess okay earth goddess all right so beautiful my love so let's dive in all right taurus so let's see what's coming up for you okay i'm getting that this person because you're vibrating in such a high energy it's like uh you will attract a person who will want to be in the present moment with you do things with you that grounds them okay because water is a very nourishing energy for earth you are an earth sign so when you put uh water in the mud after uh planting a seed in the mud what happens it grows right and it gives abundance so i'm getting that the kind of person that you will attract is someone who um waters okay waters your earth and um creates a sanctuary okay creates a sanctuary with you and that's so beautiful okay that's so beautiful taurus all right my loves let's see let's see this is just your venusian energy speaking through me i can feel it it's just so calm nourishing balanced you know just good wishes for everyone from you taurus it's you know it's so sweet of you i'm getting i'm i'm literally under your spell right now or something like it's so beautiful okay because there's the goddess energy here okay and then we have the food yes taurus this is you okay yes all right so let's see okay i just felt nauseous a little bit so some of you are pregnant okay that's why you're craving more and more food interesting okay congratulations taurus Yes, I'm getting that the baby is going to be a Libra or a Taurus is also what I'm picking up. Interesting. Lovely. Okay. All right. I'm sorry this is I know this is preparing for new love but I'm like literally channeling today for you guys. So, what are your feelings concerning love in your heart, Taurus? Let's see. What are Taurus's feelings concerning love in their heart? how does taurus feel about love in their heart hi rafan this is your energy taurus oh my god you're literally smiling while watching this video with me like ah <laughs> oh taurus god bless you i love you guys okay i love you guys i don't know i just feel high on life suddenly so you're high on life you're high on a commitment you're high you look forward to a uh, committing a commitment a long term commitment a relationship that is traditional cultural you know it matches your belief systems it matches how you move how you feel okay like in your heart it's just it's just you're connected to the divine in your heart my loves just look at that the steps to the divine right and that's what brings you so much joy in your heart when you can give and give and sometimes you can just keep giving okay So make sure that you know when to stop, Taurus. All right, all right. What are your thoughts concerning love? What are what are Taurus's thoughts concerning love? How does Taurus think about love? Let's see. Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah. So the thoughts are a little bit um on uh, in the darker aspect but we will see okay we will see how the uh, how the interpretation goes what are your expectations in a relationship 
What is Taurus's expectations in a relationship? Emperor. Okay. I'm getting come clean, okay? That's what I'm getting. Like, come clean to me. Come clean. Do not hide anything from me. Because I will see through you is what I'm picking up from Taurus. Interesting. What type of person are you drawn to? What type of a person is Taurus drawn to? Pertaining to the spread. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. There you go. Five of Cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh... What type of people are you drawn to? What type of person do you attract, Taurus? What type of person do you attract in your life? High Priestess. There you go. Hierophant and High Priestess. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else. How can you prepare to welcome a healthy, loving connection in your life? Let me keep all of this, okay? Uh, how can you prepare to... Welcome, healthy connection. What can you do to be happily single until love knocks on your door? Wheel of Fortune. There's another card here, Knight of Pentacles. I can't take all of them. I'll just take the wheel. Okay. Then, what relationship advice do you need to focus on right now in order to prepare for new love? Three of Cups. Okay. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck we have Queen of Swords. Hmm. All right. So Taurus, in your heart, I'm getting that you are a very, very jolly person. It's like you want to feel the grateful gratitude energy. Okay. Um, you want a commitment. You want something long term. You want something that connects you and your person to the divine. Okay. It's something a commitment really, really makes you feel grounded. It makes you feel stable. Um, you know. The concept of love itself is something that is so divine to you. It's so divine. It's like it, you see all the the different um, religions and the different like I can see Om here. I can see a fish. I can see infinity symbol. I can see pentacle star. So it's like there are so many concepts, so many beliefs in your heart about love, and every religion speaking about love. And maybe you study these things, or it's like you you devote yourself. I'm getting you are devoted to love. Wow wow Taurus okay you're devoted to love um, and you always listen to your higher self okay you listen to your that truth love and integrity within you you always cross question yourself and ask yourself am I doing the right thing am I doing things in my integrity or am I compromising my ethics and compromising my integrity for someone else and you don't go beyond that okay because that is how your belief systems are formed okay Sometimes this card can also be very dogmatic. So at times in your heart, you could be a little bit like um, restrictive is also what I'm getting. Okay, restrictive. So at times you restrict your heart from really following someone else's beliefs because you're a fixed sign. Okay, so you are fixed in your beliefs when it comes to love. Okay. And then we have Eight of Swords as your thoughts concerning love. So with your heart being so, so commitment oriented and devoted to love, your thoughts concerning love are very much like, you know, you feel like you are trapped in a, in a sense. Like, um, even though you want commitment, somewhere you feel like you will get trapped. And this could be because of a past fear, maybe because of your own mother and father and the story that they have lived out. And uh, how much that scares you to step into authentic love even though you really really want it but at the same time you feel like you will be tied up or there will be no way out of this once you get in it because um, you know you will want to completely um, be loyal to this person forever so um, since you don't until you don't get that you don't want to have a commitment or something like that so you're very hard on yourself in that term okay I'm also picking up some insecurities regarding love for you Taurus like uh, regarding your body or um, there are things that you make up in your head that is not true okay it's like it's not as bad as you think um, when it comes to your thoughts okay your thoughts run wild when it comes to the insecurities that you have concerning love that's why you love being chased because if someone is not chasing you you don't feel grounded enough or something like that and you don't feel like they will commit to you forever if they don't chase you okay because you're always chased so when you're not chased, when someone stops chasing you, you feel less than or you don't feel worth it or something like that, okay? Or if a person doesn't commit to you like, and tell you that, you know, I want to commit to you, I want to marry you, 
like if you don't hear that there's some insecurity that happens in the connection and you could sometimes be very adamant when you read a person and when you see that th this person is not responding exactly how you want them to okay so yeah there could be some insecurities that you deal with in your thoughts definitely in your head about about things and making things up like making stories up in your head that are not real as well okay regarding love so um so your head and your heart are kind of not in sync here okay so then what are your expectations in love what what do you expect so like i said like come clean to me or i am going to see through you okay so that is what taurus is saying but uh, apart from that i'm getting that in love like you your expectations are that you want to meet a person who's like an emperor okay emperor is a person who is very very like business oriented business minded he's very stoic like he he doesn't have a heart in a way uh this person only believes in strategies and conquering and winning the war and um conquering different like you know because he's an emperor so he has had a lot of empires and he has his own like empire where he um conducts certain things and he gives orders and those orders are executed according to what he wants right that is what emperors are so you want a powerful personality you want to be in a powerful cup like you want to be in a power couple with your person right you expect your person to make you their business in some way like make you their um center of the universe in some way and be, because you want that kind of attention and love but sometimes Taurus you know that much um wanting that much of your partner's attention where they make you a person who is like the center of their uh, universe is something that is too high of an expectation okay that is one thing that i'm getting the next thing i'm getting is that with the expectation for you in love is some somewhat like like you want to be conquered in some way okay like it's like you want to be conquered so again with the chased energy you want to be chased and conquered and uh, rescued from something where you feel insecure or you feel trapped in something and boom this person comes in and saves you like a knight in shining armor from your troubles and they just marry you and commit to you and i i just love how you think taurus but not every person is going to always love chasing you and always be thrilled by chasing you at times a relationship can get a little bit boring when the person is with you for a very long time and at times it could get a little bit um you know like dull in a way so what happens when it gets dull do you leave each other because you feel trapped you know that is the question here <laughs> right so your expectations are to be chased to be loved and you your expectations are that you know somewhere you will find a stoic partner someone who is kind of heartless because you've been through some pain or you know parents dynamics within your uh, childhood or something like that okay where your father was very stoic and very strict and patriarchal and like things like that or it could be the other way around where your mother was like that and your father was the one being like you know put down in some way okay and one person always had to be chased so this is how you have learned to love okay this is your love language in a way so uh since your expectations are to like meet this powerful man powerful woman hold on <coughs> okay i had to do that all right so the next card for you my loves is what type of a person are you drawn to okay what kind of a person are you drawn to so the kind of person that you're drawn to is someone who has something dark in their past okay i'm getting someone who has had some sort of grief okay which you want to discover for yourself like you want to know what has gone wrong with them what has happened with them um is there some grief is there some depression sorrow disappointment in love you want to know okay and you want this person to be like experienced when it comes to grief so this person um like you uh, you are drawn to such people who have had a dark past like i said so you want this person to have gone through like a little bit you know like four five relationships where they have been disappointed and they have experienced so that you know you can when when you meet them it's like you can discuss certain things and you can be matured about things rather than you know um being immature basically you you expect your partners to be mature and stable confident sharp but also have a past to them which has disappointed them in a way okay uh, there's like a dark past to them something like a um 
a void within them that you want to discover within them okay those are the kind of people you're drawn to like interesting personalities powerful personalities with a very um very difficult past okay like th these people have made it uh through a very very devastating relationship or through a very devastating financial situation they've made it up okay these are the kind of people you thrive to understand and love and to uh fall in love with basically how lovely okay very very deep all right this is like your scorpionic side it's your opposite sign okay again with the five of cups that is scorpio as well okay so you attract a lot of scorpios in your life mm -hmm. uh, again emperor is also scorpio emperor and aries is also uh, that okay so uh, since you are drawn to people with a lot of grief and depression and been, went through a lot of disappointments in love what type of a person do you actually attract though Okay, since you're drawn to people with a lot of disappointments and experience in love and disappointment and depression, um, the kind of people that you attract towards you are people who are very secretive. Okay, uh, now they might want to keep you a secret, or or <clears throat> you become the mistress in some way, or it's like you find out that when you're dating this person that. This person already is with someone else and you're married to them and boom, like it, it's something like that. You know, you, you kind of attract some mysterious um, kind of situations to you because you want to. It's like you look for it automatically. You look for the mystery because you are not fulfilled where you are. That's your scorpionic side coming out, okay? That's your opposite sign coming out inside you. Like you look for mystery so you find it and you become a mystery in itself. So you attract very mysterious people in general people who have a dark past they hide it from you they keep secrets and so you want to be chased by them in order to understand their deep emotions and you make them vulnerable by you know making things uh, like showing them how grateful you are making dinner for them uh, taking them on a date going out with them uh, socializing with your family and with them and you try to get them to be vulnerable but this person always remains to be like a very mysterious person they want to detach from you they want space from you in some way um, um yeah that's what i'm getting uh taurus but you also attract like spiritual people, highly spiritual people I'm getting. Highly spiritual, highly psychic, uh, intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, um, all the clairs basically, right? You attract such people in your life. Okay, because you're automatically looking for that. And look at that, high priestess and hierophant, okay? This is literally a true pair, a true spiritual pair. So you look for spiritual connections, like I said. That's why there's this gratitude energy. And this is coming towards you, okay? You will meet your match when it comes to you surrendering yourself to the divine and not um, wanting, maybe you're celibate, you've been celibate for a very long time now after you went through a very dark relationship with a person who you were committed to and this person made you cry, made you disappoint, disappointed and things like that, okay? So how can you recover from this, my love, since you attract a lot of secretive people who want to keep you a secret or who keep secrets from you, okay? Um, the next question is, how can you prepare to welcome a healthy, loving connection in your life? It's the six of wands, okay? So to attract a healthy connection, you have to feel good about yourself, Taurus. You have to applaud it yourself. Um, you have to... Focus on your accomplishments, focus on your uh, achievements. This is the same card that Virgo got in the same placement, literally. I think so. Okay. So the, the, and that is your, like your sister's sign, right? That's another, another earth sign. So you can check out their reading or maybe you have Virgo somewhere in your chart as well. So you can check it out. But yeah, to attract a healthy relationship, it's like you have to be out in the public. You have to showcase your talents. Uh, you cannot hide behind a curtain. You can't just always look for the deep, dark, mysterious things because that will always keep you feeling insecure and trapped because you will keep attracting people who are stoic, heartless, who want to keep you a secret and, you know, they will never let you shine like this. So you need to shine like this. You need to be uh, happy. You need to be free, vulnerable. You need to be sociable. I'm getting you need to... Um, showcase your talent to the world i'm getting you could be into the uh, limelight like you could be an actor actress singer musician um anything related to radio television audio podcast is also what i'm getting so you have a beautiful voice uh, i said singer already right 
my mother herself is a Taurus, so she is a singer. She is an amazing singer. Oh my goodness, like I, you have no idea, guys. Like maybe if you guys want, I can upload one of her songs on my channel. You can let me know if you want that in the future. But yeah, you guys are meant to shine, Taurus. Okay, that's how you will attract a person from your crowd. Okay, one person who will just fall madly in love with you and your talent and your, and they will appreciate you for who you are. They will have gratitude for you. Okay. This is how you meet the person. The person you will meet is through you being in the limelight. Okay. So this is how you welcome a healthy connection in your life is first you start applauding yourself. Start focusing on your talents, your skills, your abilities and showcase those things online and showcase them in public. Right. And then you will get secret admirers and things like that talking to you and wanting to be with you in your life. Okay. Because of your generosity. Now, the next card for you is what can you do to be happily single until love knocks on your door, right? So what you can do is you can take a chance, okay? You see the dice, okay? Dice talks about taking a chance. Take a chance in love, Taurus. Um, don't be so calculative. Don't be so slow and deliberate. I know you're a Venusian sign. I know you love patience and you love to take things slow, build things one day at a time. I know, I know, I know, all right? But to be happily single until love knocks on your door and to enjoy your singlehood, I'm getting that you need to take a chance on yourself because times are changing for you. Okay, things the wheel is turning in your favor. Anything that you take a chance on right now, be it um, publicly, be it with your friend circle, okay, maybe you and your friends can get together and do some things, okay, and that is how you will attract a partner, like you, could, you guys could go to parties together, you guys could socialize, do social events together, sing at a public concert, do, it, uh, do an online show, or uh, do something which will attract abundance to you because you love yourself that much that you're going to do it right step outside of the box stores step outside of that whole um you know thing where you you always want to know the depth and the darkness and of course darkness has its own beauty i'm not saying it doesn't and that's your opposite sign that's uh, scorpio okay but to uh be happily single is to definitely accept the karmic relationships that have happened in your past and to accept that you have a bigger destiny than you even you think you have okay that there are a lot of things that are coming towards you they are fated towards you they are divinely guided towards you but you need to take a risk is what i'm getting you can't just sit in one place and expect things to happen okay even though of course meditation helps a lot with these things i'm not denying that right of course meditation is everything but there also has to be a balance of you showing showcasing your creativity otherwise you wouldn't be born here right so yeah wrapping up old karmic cycles is also what i'm getting is an advice for you to uh, be happily single okay avoid any form of confrontation with your past because you know these people um they are gone and there's a reason that they are gone right uh, from your life and you believe in the present moment and the person that you are attracting right now is going to focus on the present moment with you. They are going to have gratitude and they are going to pray with you. They are going to practice daily. And uh, they will focus on the things that you know they do have with you rather than the things that they couldn't have or cannot have or why can't we do this. Why? They won't complain about shit is what I'm saying. Okay. Otherwise you are, you are kind of uh, drawn to people who complain and disappointed with life and are like you know filled with sorrow so no more okay no more daughters let's su switch the script here all right beautiful so um and also i'm getting like accept whatever has happened in your past as as a karmic situation and don't dwell on it too much okay yeah because the past is in the past it's not going to uh, it's all an illusion right now okay if you're going in the past it's it's an illusion that is pulling you back and your mind is playing games with you Okay, so yeah, three of cups is what relationship advice do you need to focus on right now? So the relationship advice right now for you is to have fun. Okay, this is the main relationship advice is to have fun, go out parties and uh, go out to parties and don't deny it to your friends that, you know, you don't want to hang out. You need to go out with your friends. You need to have fun, you know, just go and lie down under the stars, have a party there, have a campfire there, something where you can celebrate, okay, and let go of yourself completely and um, let your friends emotionally nourish you and help you and um, 
you know, cistern, you know, you see the cistern here, right? And they, they all are looking at the stars. So it's like you need to have a vacation with your friends or something where, you know, your perspective shifts because you have become extremely cold, Taurus. Okay. And now's the time to warm it up. Look at that. Here you come, Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Okay. A, lot, a, a whole lot of money. Okay. You know how to run your business. You know how to run your company. And it's like these are two aspects of yourself and you're integrating them now. Okay. One side of you is like very strategic, very methodical. And the other side of you is very much, you know, grounded and stable and practical and a builder. Okay. You are a builder, right? So yeah, they, these are the kind of friends you also have is what I'm picking up. And they will love to collaborate with you. Okay. Because they are also quite creative is what I'm getting. So this will change your trajectory. Beautiful, my loves. All right. So let's get an advice for you from my wisdom of the oracle. Let's see what's coming up for my beautiful Taurians. Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why did I say that? So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, there you go. I, I know why I said it. So, okay, I had to say the zodiac signs that I can see here. So I can see Taurus, I can see Pisces, um, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio heavy here. Uh, Leo, I'm getting Leo, uh, Sagittarius and Cancer as well. Okay. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here, of course, with the Queen of Pentacles, but that is you. Queen of Pentacles is you, my loves. Okay. All right, so let's see. Oh, I'm also getting that the new person will meet you at the beach, okay, because I see the water card there, or you will meet them while it's raining, okay, raining heavily, and you guys might dance in the rain when you go out on a vacation or something like that, okay, just uh, looking at the stars, and this person, like, literally falls in love with you because, you know, you're enjoying yourself in the rain, like, a very filmy scene is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> But you're a Venusian sign, so what do you expect? <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let's see. Let's see, my loves. What is the advice for Taurus pertaining to the spread? What is the advice for Taurus? There you go. Round and round. Okay, so you're going through something from the past and time for a nap. Interesting. Yeah, so it's, it's saying that you need to give it a rest now. Okay, whatever you're going round and round in. Okay, there's a situation that's repeating itself and now, you know, you need to give it a rest. You need to move forward. You see 25 and 24. So something happened when you were 25 years old, 24 or 25th or 24th of any month could be significant for you whenever you're watching this. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, this may apply with you, like I said. Okay, so I'm going to read round and round because it makes sense. Uh, this is that insecurity that I'm picking up. Beautiful, loyal heart, my love. Yes yes okay but know that you know your work and your love life and your um work life both have to be a vacation for you both have to have a f an element of fun in it not an element of depression and darkness and loneliness no no more okay my loves so 25 let's see i'm also getting 25 which is seven seventh house so libra okay I don't know why I opened the loyal heart page literally for you. So I might read that as well, okay? That automatically opened up and I saw the card. So maybe there's a correlation to that. 25, where are you? 24. 25, okay, there you go. So the spiral quality, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you have gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher higher level. Okay, Maybe some of you bought a new property and you are standing literally at a higher level than your partner in the past who broke your heart in some way. Looking down into your circumstances, you will learn something, do something better and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. Relationship message. Are you wondering how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you have found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person. 
who may not look similar but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities your relationship is a mix of mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging you have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution you may have circled back to an accustomed spot a familiar place but that's fine as long as you get to do things again only differently this time for you learned something of great value since the last time around how will you choose to behave now that you are aware remain curious and stay out of the blame game right prosperity message if you are um, uh, actually a prosperity message is not needed in this but uh, with this message uh, taurus i'm getting that there could be a, a reconciliation of a past person coming back into your life and it makes you feel trapped maybe you were committed to this person so this is another scenario that i'm getting of course this is a preparing for love spread but sometimes we get exes as well okay so um i'm getting that there could be this person coming back and it's spirit's plan to bring this person back into your life to see how you react to them now and how did you react to them in the past you know in the past maybe you were very um you had a lot of expectations high hopes and dreams about this person but uh, since they broke your heart and they didn't chase you and you felt heartbroken and things like that after that when they are coming back now after you have healed and you have taken your time to grow and um surrender to the divine and things like that now when they come back it's a different set of experiences for you and different things to learn from these experiences okay and you will know instantly whether there is love for, for in your heart for them or whether you need to move forward from this person and prepare for a new love just like i said which could be a um cancer pisces scorpio which is coming into your life okay and you will know this because you're highly intuitive look at that There's a high priestess card. You're highly intuitive. Okay, my loves. All right. So this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for uh, coming here. Please let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed this reading. If you enjoyed it, liked it, uh, please do like it, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you're feeling extremely generous and grateful, just like you are, my loves, uh, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. And if you enjoyed this uh, reading, please do. Um, get in touch with me for a private reading if you need one uh, the link is given in the description box below if you would like to donate to the channel um you know there's a donation link of paypal also given in my link tree link which is given in the description box below you can also gift me new decks which i can use for your readings on my channel so the amazon wish list is also given below all right so please do comment down below and let me know who is this person that you're attracting and whether you could relate with this message or not all right so love you guys and peace